we come to something which some of you will be completely unfamiliar with. This is, if you like, one of the first new concepts directly related to um, computer systems and dealing with the issue of negative binary numbers. And this technique of one's complement is actually really simple, but it's very important to understand a little bit why. So I'm going to just try to make that absolutely clear, well, as clear as I can. The issue for a computing system is really easy to explain. Why does it have a problem with negative numbers? This sign, which you and me, when we do it as human beings, not a problem. We can understand it. We tend to think of it very similarly to um, the addition or the multiplication or the division. We just tend to think of it in a very straightforward, what's the problem with that? The issue for a computing system is that negative numbers, negative binary numbers, not negative numbers. Computers can handle negative numbers because they do all clever things and this is what we're going to learn. Binary, what do we do with this negative sign? What do we, what do, we do to our system if all our computer and CPU and um, processing is just dealing with ones and zeros? Suddenly I have to have the negative sign appear amongst it all. That's where the complexity and the issue comes. For computer systems and CPUs, this negative sign, you have to do something. You have to translate the negative sign into something else so your CPU and your computer processing systems can deal with it. And this is why we have several mechanisms. In the video, we're going to focus on something called ones complement and uh, hopefully that will become clearer it's a peculiar sounding concept it's even peculiarly written one with a apostrophe s but if you're unfamiliar with it just pay attention to what we actually do so what do we actually do well to find a, the one's complement or to understand what we're doing with it, um, let's say that you have a negative, let's use a, let's say that you have a negative number, right? A negative binary. Essentially, the concept here of dealing with negative numbers and getting rid of this thing here, we want to really get rid of it, is you have to convert this whole number using a procedure and then you convert it in such a way that the negative sign disappears and you can just add this number that we're going to um, arrive at. So this number down here, we're going to convert this, neg this 101 number with a negative sign in such a way that we'll arrive at a different number, a different binary, but it's connected to this one here. And then all we don't have to then subtract it, we can then add it. Okay. So what is that? Well, what we do is we find, let's use a different colour, something called the complement. The ones complement, because there's a different one, it's called twos, the ones complement of this number here. Okay, let's explain that. The ones complement of a binary digit, say it's one, its complement is zero, Right, that's its one's complement. He scribbles down there. A zero, its one's complement is, can you guess? One. Okay, that's the concept. So let's practice it in some kind of way. Now I'm going back to the worksheet and I'm going to take the example from the worksheet. So the number we present in the worksheet is this number, 1100110. One, zero, zero, one, one, zero. And this is our number, let's, let's, which we need to convert because, you know, we've got a subtract sign here somewhere and we, we're, going, we're doing something where we're having to subtract that from something else, right? And as I said in the previous slide, we need to convert it. And in the process of conversion, we can then add it. 
Now at this stage you might think that sounds odd, but basically a negative binary, we convert it and then we're able to add it. So, what do we convert that? Well, the ones complement, let's take it a digit at a time. So, a digit at a time is zero, we would find its ones complement and pop it here. We would find the ones complement of that here, the one here, one here, one here, one here, right? So, what would that be? Let's um, get a different colour. Zero, the ones complement is one. One complement is zero. One to zero. Zero to one. Zero to one. One to zero. One to zero. OK, that's reasonably straightforward, isn't it? So if I ask you to give me the ones complement, you know that you take a digit at a time, and if it's a one, you turn it into... If it's a 1, you turn it into a 0, and you replace the same position. Remember, this sequence doesn't alter. We're just converting them a digit at a time. If it's a 0, it converts to 1. Nice and simple. So let's actually do a subtraction using 1's complement. Now, it life sadly doesn't get that straightforward. Let's have a look at... Uh, a problem from the previous sheet. We had 1, 1, 0, and we wanted to subtract 0, 0, 1. Now, at this stage, I also perhaps need to emphasise the fact that with binary numbers, if you have three of them here, you have to have three of them here. These num The number of um, digits you have here is a really important aspect of this. This is three bits. So this is technically described, because you have three digits, as a three-bit binary number. That means that this has to remain consistently with the same number of digits. Okay. Now, for, the, for those of you who have observed that when we add numbers, sometimes we get an extra fourth digit. For mathematical purposes, that's correct. But for computer purposes, it has a meaning. It actually does something, right? And you need to keep that thought at the back of your mind. So we have this subtraction from the previous example. And we've got a, a minus. We're going to take this number in red away from that. Well, let's convert this to the ones complement and add it and test it comes to the same. But before we add it, let's just quickly remind ourselves what the answer was. So if you remember, we... Um, Shifted that across, that turned to a 1, 0 there, and there was a 1 there. So 1, 0, 1 was the answer for this subtraction. Let's see if we arrive at that using 1's complement. So here's our subtraction again. It's 1, 1, 0, and it's minus, and I'm going to use a different colour, 0, 0, 1. First step we're going to do is convert this. So... I'm going to put a little box here. Each digit, one at a time. Zero converts to one, convert to zero, one, one. So the one's complement of that is, let's, let's try to spell it out so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So if we're trying to convert, bear with me a second, zero, zero, one, it converts to zero, one, one. Okay, so just to be clear, I'm converting that. I've shoved it up here. The 1's complement is 0, 0 turns to 1, 0 turns to 1. I now, in principle, can add that to that number, and I should come to the same result. OK, let's use a fresh slide for that. So I have 1, 1, 1, 0, and the 1's complement of that number, which was, if you remember, let's keep it there, it was 0, 0, 1, remember? But in this case, I've converted it to 110. It's just a coincidence that these two numbers are the same. But pay attention to what's going to happen here. Okay. Um, and because I will introduce a concept at the end of this video, which you need to think about and hold in your head. But at this stage, we won't do anything with it. So let's um, add them in some kind of way and see what we get. Right. Well, if I add them... 
right? Let's go to red, zero plus zero, zero, one plus one. There's a zero there, I carry one. I've got one plus one, which is one zero, and I add a one. So one goes there, and I carry a one over into a fourth column. Hang on a second. You say to me, there is no fourth column. And didn't you say to me that if this is three bits, this is three bits, then doesn't this have to stay the same as three bits? Wasn't the point of the thing that you said to me before? I can only have three digits here. Therefore, I can't just pop that there and shove it at the end as we did with a standard addition, right? When we added two numbers in the, in the addition, we just added it at the end. Hmm. So now I'm saying something different. And it's different because this second number is a one's complement. And it, because we're dealing with one's complement, we have to be strict. If this is three digits, three digits, this answer has to be three digits. Oh, you say to me, well, what happens to this digit over here? Well, what we do is we bring it all the way back and we add it to this number here. We don't just hang it on the end. So let's scrub it out here. Let's change the colour just so we can keep our colours all consistent. So that's the, that's the one that's spilt over. So then I pop it at the beginning over here, and I add, and I get 1, 0, 1. Now, if you've been paying attention, that is exactly the same answer as we had before. Now, I might imagine you saying, hang on a second, hasn't this all got really, really complicated? Let's emphasize it hasn't got complicated we've just had to introduce a rule to make this thing work when we do this complement idea we have to fix the number of digits because we can't just add in the extra fourth digit it breaks the system and it breaks the idea so when you do your normal addition with the ones complement where the second number has been converted and you have a number hanging over you have to bring that back and you have to add it back in and that, you notice, gives you the correct answer.